As if concrete includes the design of bearing walls, both concrete and masonry walls. When the wall is solid, you can develop the interaction diagram and you can compare the applied loads versus the capacity. But what happens when you have openings in your wall? This is Javier Encinas. And today I'm gonna to show you a new feature in Azip Concrete to design openings in your masonry walls. Let's get started. To illustrate the feature, I have entered already some loads, dead loads, one key per foot, and a roof life, uh, one key per foot. And also I have entered some pressures, wind pressures, 40 PSF in the wall and 60 at the parapet. In the geometry tab, we can see that is one story wall, 16 foot from the support to the bottom, and then a parapet of two feet. When you select the wall material to masonry, this new tab has been added, the openings, we click on that. So this canvas is presented uh, which is a wall elevation. From here you can add your uh, opening. Let's uh, draw an opening, just drag your mouse like that and a new opening is created. From here you can resize the opening any dimension that you that you want. Say for example like that and you can move it, you can drag it and move it. Okay. If you want to uh, add a lintel, just click on the top border of the opening and the lintel is added. Then you click on the bottom border of the opening and a seal is created. Then you click on the sides of the opening and the jam is created another jam in this area. So we have created a frame around the opening, lintel, seal, and two jams. Azip Concrete also creates a table. In this table, it shows the opening size. In this case, it's 144 inches, 12 feet, by 80 inches deep. This represents the type of pressure distribution according to this chart. If it's type one, the pressures are distributed to the sides just, just to the jumps. Type two, the pressure goes to the to the lintel and to the seal. And type three is a four-way uh, distribution. So portion to the jumps and portion to the seal and, and lintel. In this case, let's assume that is uh, type three, which is four uh, sides distribution. Also, as the concrete creates a table for the lintel. Note that we have uh, added a lintel and a seal and the program assign a number. So lintel is number one, the seal is number two. And the jams are also numbered. Is, this is the jam number one and this is the jam number two. So all these members are listed in these tables. This is the lintel number one and the seal number two. And the jam number, two, number one and number two are in these tables. So in the lintel table, you can specify the thickness and the height of the lintel, and also the rebars per side. For example, in this case, uh, the lintel is eight by 16 inches and is reinforced with two number fours at each side of the lintel. We can go to the condensed page. At the bottom, this new section has been added that shows the design of the opening. Here we can see that the lintel portion is not good, is not passing, and also the jamb design is not passing, meaning that we need to reinforce it better. Let's increase the size of the uh, lintel instead of 16, let's say 24. We can see still that uh, is not good enough, is you know the capacity is 38. The applied moment is 68, so we need to increase the number of rebars, probably uh, number fives. 58 versus 68 is still not good. Let's increase it even more, maybe number sixes. 
So we now is passing. The capacity is 81 versus 68. So we can say that with two number sixes, it passes. Since the uh, height of the lintel is 24 inches, let's say that is three rebars each side. Three number sixes each side. So the capacity is more or less the same, 80, 81 versus 68 is passing. Now let's go to the jam design. In this case, the jam can be either masonry or concrete. If it's a masonry jam, you can specify the thickness of the wall, the number of cells that belong to the jam, and the rebar size per cell. In this case, we are saying that two cells are reinforced with number fours, and the capacity obviously is, is failing according to, uh, to the numbers, so we can increase the capacity here, say number fives, it's still not passing, but, but close. We can either increase it to, to number sixes, in that case it passes, barely, but passes. So with two cells reversed with a number six per cell, is giving 9.6 kip foot versus the applied moment, which is 9.4. We can do that or either we can increase the number of, of cells, maybe three number cells with reverse number fives. This solution is also working. Probably this is better, three cells with number fives. So let's do that for both jams. And now we can see very quickly that it's passing. If we go to the detail tab and we scroll down to the bottom, this section is new also, the opening design, where you can see the step-by-step -step calculations for this new feature. In the concrete lintel design, you can see here uh, the cell weight of the lintel, uh, the arching. In this case, it's not arching, meaning that uh, this portion above the lintel is so small, so short, that uh, the, you know the arching, which is 45 degrees triangle on top of the lintel, is not possible. So all this weight is passing directly to the lintel, and also the load from the roof is also passing to the lintel. And this is uh, calculated here. The wall weight, all this cell weight of the wall, is calculated here in addition to the loads from the roof are passing to the lintel as well. In the lateral uh, wind pressure, we said that the opening is uh, type 3. So in this case, this trapeze, this trapeze is distributed to the lintel and this triangle is distributed to the jamb. All this is calculated into the program and is calculated here. It's 20.73 kip per foot. Uh, in this case, the seismic is minimum. Gravity, final gravity, the sum of all these uh, numbers, 3.44 kip per foot. And finally, the, uh, 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 the moment is 69 kip foot according to this load combination. 1.2 dead plus 0, 0.0 life plus 1.6 life roof, which is uh, the controlling combination. So with these uh, numbers, 68 kip foot, is that we are designing our lintel. Uh, we said that uh, we said that we are using reverse number sixes, two of them at the bottom, two of them at the top, and two of them at the center. So the uh, area of steel intention is 0.88, and the resulting uh, uh, capacity in moment is 83 kip foot, which is more than 69, and the design is passing. The lateral capacity is also calculated according to the pressures, and the resulting moment in the lateral direction is 4.5 kip foot, and uh, the capacity is 29. So plenty of capacity in, in the lateral direction is passing the design. Regarding the masonry uh, jam design, uh, the program calculates uh, the wind applied to the jam itself, then the uh, partial wind due to the opening, which is this triangle, 
is calculated there. And then the uh, lintel's reaction in the hor in horizontal direction, this reaction is applied to the jam and this reaction of the, of the seal is applied to the jam as well. So these two concentrated loads are applied to the jam and the resulting uh, uh, moment is calculated as well as 10.3. Area of steel in, in, in one side is 0.93 and the resulting uh, capacity in bending moment is 11.9, which is more than 10.3, the applied moment uh, in the lateral direction, so it's passing. So basically, uh, in, in, in this new feature, the program calculates the capacity of all these members that were created and compares the capacity versus the applied loads. In the case of the lintels, the program determines if the arching effect is applicable to the lintel. In that case, only this triangle of 45 degrees uh, on top of the lintel applies. If not, if the arching is not possible, as in this case, then all the load on top of the lintel is applicable to the lintel itself, including the roof loads and the uh, wall load and, and, and the cell weight. The jam itself is designed according to the reaction from the lintel and the seal, plus the applied uh, pressure on the jamb itself. As you can see, the design is uh, simple and uh, powerful, which otherwise would be very time consuming. If you go to the uh, report, in the contents report, you can see here that this new section was added to the report with the opening design. And if we go to detail report, you're gonna see here also this section, the opening design that was added to the calculations. So this is the new feature in ASDIP Concrete 4. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next video.